If you want to learn everything about Epking Hot Beacons on Book, then make sure to watch until the end because I'm going to teach you everything about it in this video. So how do you AFK core beacons on Buak? Well, it is pretty simple. First off, you need to go over to this location on the map right here, um, the crashed plane. You can place core beacons here and you can build around it depending on where you are. I recommend using this spot so that zombies go up like right here. They go here and they go through the ramp. And with the use of barricades, um, barbed wire barricades, you can grab them with 10 iron, so 2 of these, and then these, and you get a barricade. As you can see, they die. But you do need the blueprints, so... Uh, just go there, get the blueprints, and you can grab them. They're like very, very cheap, you don't need much. You can repair these with blowtorch or industrial spanner. Just like this, I'm gonna show you now. But when you do come to repair, you can see the zombies are going to do this. So... You need to be careful. You can completely FK it with just spamming all the way right here and when the mega zombie comes you can just do this. And it's gonna eventually die, as you can see. Yep, it's dead. You're gonna come over at the corner, you're gonna wanna look like over there like that and you're gonna wanna look down you're gonna place that and this should be good enough yep so the next thing i'm gonna go over is getting your ramp because it is the most important so you're gonna come over here and you're gonna craft a ramp. Oh my god. Okay. So, a ramp. You're gonna put that there. Okay. You're gonna take this off. You're gonna do this, this, and the next thing you need to do is get a zombie and test if this is working and as you can see the this this thing is oh yes it's working but the wall under it is kind of a problem i'm going to quickly place this and it should work in theory mr coming let's see is it working Yep, it's working perfectly. So, so until you get it perfectly right, then don't build anything. Get make sure to get this right because it's not that easy. It can take you a couple of tries, and when you got it right, then you can just keep building. You can do, uh, you can do it however you want. I'm gonna do my own design right now, and I'm gonna show you.
Okay, so I completed it, kind of. You can put glass, uh, you can put whatever you want. I just did it like this right now so that I can show that it works. I'm going to place on the Horpican. And as I said, you can repair it if you want, you can completely FK it and make sure the more people you are, the more part to our fences you place. Uh, you can build a tower if you like, you can build an entire base, it is entirely up to you. Keep in mind that you can get zombie raided. But this is completely safe uh, method to AFK horror beacons. And I'm going to show you right now that I can completely AFK it and I'll be back after it. here so I'm going to quickly jiggle it around oh yes um, there is no other way to go around the mega zombie like you have to kill it like this or you can just make it uh, die through uh, using a melee weapon or weapon it's totally up to you but as you can see it is working and you can AK horror beacons like this but of course the zombie once again is there Ah, uh, so let's recap while the zombie is coming. So you're going to need arc wire fences, which you can, um, which the blueprint for you can find right here, and also for part wire. You're going to go over here, and you're going to collect some wood. You're going to start from there, and you're going to build all this. Remember, this is your most important part. So until you get this working, don't build anything else because you're going to have to remove it. You can build whatever you want, however you want. And the zombie stack once again. Yeah. And as you can see, I finished it. And whenever you do it with a lot more people, you're going to get a lot more a lot more loot. So keep that in mind. But the health multiplier of the zombie is going to be way more, so you're going to need way, way more of these barbwares. You can also just come back and a few minutes. Like, let's say Rave King over there, one minute or two, watching Netflix or whatever. Then you can just come here, repair it, and quickly go back. You can use Industrial Spanner for that, which is a bit better because it has more range. Like this, and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> 